hello friends welcome to swing tutorial in this java swing tutorial we are going to see j label and how to set font and borders to it so there are varieties of border which you can see the screenshot here in the left side line border bevel raised and uh, soft bevel so that one is lowered then etched border so here we have shown only four border style but you can actually set uh, different border styles also if you look here here we changed the font of the label so here we set a verdana font with a different style that means a plain style and uh, 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 a different size changed from its default so j label is a component um, so we can create a font so we can create a font from awt font and when we are creating a font in the constructor we can specify the font name style and size so in the constructor itself we can pass these parameters name style and size say for example name we can say verdana style we can say plain or bold or italic then size we can specify the font size 12 14 28 like that so we can actually create border using a border factory so there are various uh, methods available from border factory so you can call those method to create a specific border let's say for example so here are the methods so for example when you say create etched border the border factory will create the etched border and it, it it will give that border to you then you can make a call to uh, create etched border create bevel border or create line border so ultimately the goal of border factory is to generate borders so once border and font are ready your job is easy you can set the j labels property you can set the font and border using the methods so that means once your font is created you you will make a call to j label dot set font and you give the font to that method that means you set the font to j label then you will set the font to uh, i mean set the border to j label so once font and borders are set to j label then j label can be added to the container so rest java swings graphics will take care of uh, uh, how to render this uh, label all right now let's go to eclipse demo and we will create a uh, uh, few labels with uh, the font and borders so here is the example from our uh, very first video j frame so in the j frame we actually displayed three labels and if i run it so the labels are default without any font and style now in this example we will change the appearance of this label using the font and uh, borders so first we will delete this piece of code
so we left a super the title and touched and we will remove these imports also when we add code on the time we will uh, uh, start uh, uh, adding the packages so if i do control shift o it will add package for a jframe and handles exception and you can see that here so java.awt.handles exception and javax.swing.frame so now we can start our example we are inside the constructor first we will add a piece of code that will set the frames position and the size this we already saw in the previous example so here we are telling at which location we want to display the frame we also specify its width and height then we retrieve the content pan by making use of a get content pan that call will give you a container and so we are inputting java.awt container so we have that in control host reference then we are setting flow layout for this uh, content pan so we will add our label to this content pan later now we will go ahead and create our labels so here if you see we are creating four labels and the parameter we passed to the constructors the caption given to those uh, labels let's import j label from swing s yes, swing java x swing package all right now labels are ready next we create the borders and if you see here we are using the border factory so the border factory is from java x dot swing package then these are all the enumeration constant okay these are all constant from border class So here I am importing the packages. You can see which package I am importing. Java X swing dot border. Now let us look at this code. If you see here, we are making use of a border factory to create all four type of borders. So create bevel border, then create soft bevel border hd border and create line border so we are making call to different uh, uh, borders and if you want to look at the intelligence so this will give you an idea of what other borders what other borders we can create and if you see there are create bevel border so that's one type and then compound border dashed border empty border etched line matty border soft bevel tiled border stroke border so there are a lot of other borders here we have taken only four borders if you want to experiment those borders you can do that yourself so that's one then for bevel border here we are using the style as raised the other side style is lowered so these are all the two famous uh, style so when we render this you will come to know how the raised will appear uh, just imagine a button uh, so that's what called raised and lowered is uh, just opposite of the raised that means uh, the button is uh, digged from the flat surface so if you imagine that uh, it's not flat degree from that flat flat uh, flat style so that's lowered so imagine that the, uh, a, a rectangle that is flat and if it is raised that looks like a button and if it's lowered from that flat 
that is what called lowered so the we have two style so for bevel border for soft bevel border also the the same two style exist raised and lowered next here we are creating the etched border etched border will put a uh, border so if you want to imagine uh, or visualize it you can think of a group box with a group around the control so that's h style so here uh, we when we create a hd border so that's what we are creating then lion border uh, lion border we are passing color dot red that means the border will be created in a red color so the border factory creates all this border and we are storing that in a reference of type java x dot swing dot border now we have four types of border we have four label j label i mean so now we will assign the border style to these labels and if you guess it guess it rightly we are going to call set border on the labels j label so if you see label one we are calling set border and setting the line border after that bevel rise is soft bevel low yet it's a border so we are setting all these borders next so the border is ready uh, for the label now we will create a font and if you see here we are creating font from awt package then we will set this font to the swing label that means the j label and if you see when we are creating font we are supplying a font name as verdana font and style we are supplying it as plain then size we are supplying 16 so if you want to see the other style so you can see bold plain there are a lot of uh, other types also italic so these are all the standard bold italic plain plain is a regular font then mono space there are several style available you can experiment those but here what we are setting we are setting a plain font that means a regular so one font object we are setting the same font to all four label that means label will appear somewhat uh, uh, bigger say because we specified the size as a 16 so now our label is set with border and font now we have to add our border to so we already made call to get content pen we have control host so we have to add it to the uh, content pen so here we are going to here we are adding all four labels to our uh, content pen content pen of jframe jframe in the sense we derived our jframe demo from jframe that means we are adding it to the jframe so how we are adding it to jframe because we retrieved content frame from this j frame demo then we are adding this to the content frame so j frame will uh, use this content pan to render the controls uh, maintained by it so content pan will employ flow layout to arrange the controls all right now uh, the example is ready now let us uh, display it let me keep it aside and if you see uh, a border factory create line border color dot red so this is the line border label and you can see a red lion is surrounded next bevel raised so this is the bevel raised and you can see how it appears so this is actually a label but visually if you see it looks like a button next if you see create soft bevel border 
and here we are using the lowered style so this is bevel raised and this is a soft bevel border and the etched border if you see it puts a uh, etching around the uh, label and here you are seeing a different font also the font is um, here uh, plain now let's go back here and change this as italic then we will change the size to forty then we'll change the font to Arial and if you see um, so this is a different uh, font size forty font uh, name is Arial and we say it italic so they are appearing with the uh, oblique style here that's all in the video I hope now you got an idea of how we created a J label then we created the border using border factory then assigned that border to J label using set border method then we created font by specifying uh, uh, name style and size then we assigned that to J label using set font method so set border and set font we using that we assigned the border and font to our j label then j label we added it to the container container in the sense which we got using the get content plan get content plan of our class which is derived from j frame all right that's all here thank you for uh, watching bye